Good day, YouTubers, and welcome back to another video with the Electrical Guide. Today we're gonna to show you how to do joints. Maybe you've just put some wires into your device box for a switch or maybe for a receptacle, and now you wanna make some joints in your wires. So the first thing we wanna do is to push away the wires that we're not making joints with. Leave the ones that we are nice and accessible. The second thing we wanna do is make sure that they are of the same length. So I'm just gonna trim off this little extra here and make the wires the same length. It's a lot easier to work with when they're the same length. The second thing we want to do is pick the appropriate size hole on our wire strippers for the size of wire that we're using. So if you're doing this in a residential setting, you're probably using size 14, which makes you line it up with the number 14 on your wire strippers. So after you strip those, you want to line up the edges of your insulation and the ends of your exposed conductors. And you wanna take your linesman pliers, holding with your left hand firmly, you wanna grab the insulation, not the copper, but the, actually the insulation. And you wanna be sure not to be cutting anything on your blades on the side there. And you wanna keep a firm grasp and just do a couple rotations, like so, about two and a half rotations. Now your wires are gonna come out looking about like this. Now if you let go, they're already kind of holding themselves together, which is an excellent start. The second step you wanna do is grab the exposed metal now with your linesman pliers, and with less pressure, you wanna just rotate, and underneath your bite here, they'll simply wrap together. Now, you're keeping a firm grip here because you don't want to twist these anymore past the first few that you made. Just the exposed ends. Once you have a nice clean twist, now a lot of people prefer to use these to cut off the extra, but me, I actually prefer to use my strippers again. I think they make for a cleaner cut. And you want to cut off the extra bits so that the end looks like so. Now, it should have a nice, firm connection that should be breaking under, well, extreme stress perhaps, but only then. Now your marette is only to cover the exposed metal. So after the connection has been made is when you put the marette on, not to make the connection. You wanna be using your linesman pliers for that. So then you twist on the marette, couple turns, nice and snug. And you wanna make sure that there is no copper sticking out of the bottom of this marette joint. Essentially, the, the line where your marette stops should meet insulation and not exposed metal. And that is how you make a perfect joint. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.